Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome. We wanted to really take a trip around the world, but I know, I know we are confined within a certain amount of space, not supposed to leave our homes, so we're not going to, but we're going to invite a lot of other people into your homes right now. Let's hear from those individuals. And here are our seven tips to get you through the months easily until the premiere of No Time to Die. Finished. Guess we'll start with silver vinegar. Hmm. No! Ah, two pair! <laughs> we hope our tips will help. Good luck, everybody. Bye-bye! Hi, everybody. Hi, David. Everybody at Operation Stay at Home, welcome. Uh, my name is Remert van Braam. I run the Bond Lifestyle website, uh, jamesbondlifestyle.com. Uh, I started the website in 2005. Uh, to make a guide to products seen in uh, James Bond movies and related uh, James Bond merchandise. And over, this, over the years, uh, the site has grown. Um, so has the community, uh, the friends, the people I knew, people I met. Um, and many thanks to David and the people at AJB Forum and Simon, um, Ben, AJ, um, Mark O'Connell, Joe, uh, so many more people, everybody from all over the world, um, from Brazil, uh, Norway, Sweden, Belgium, Germany, uh, the Netherlands, where I'm from. Uh, it's a big online community and I wish we could have uh, all met in London uh, this week, next week, um, for the movie, but of course we can, so here we are online trying to connect. So staying home, um, everybody is trying to do their best. I'm trying to do my best, uh, spending some good time with my family, working on the website um, as much as I can here and there. Um, and I find myself uh, looking back at the old movies, um, probably as many as you do, do as well. We've done a lot with No Time to Die um, the last few months, long months, years actually. Um, so it's a good time to look back and, and, and re-watch some of those old movies. Um, there's a lot of things I still need to add. I'm finding new products. Um, lately I've been looking at Timothy Dalton again and Pierce Brosnan. Uh, of course great uh, Bond actors and, and movies actually and, and so many more items to the movies that I need to add to the website. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, soon I'm giving away some, some more prizes in contests because I know it's been way too long. Um, stay with me, there will be more. And I hope you are all able to do the stuff that you want. Um, I hope you and your family are, are well and, and healthy. Um, keep it that way, stay safe and all the best.
Hey, hey, 007 fans, JW here from James Bond Radio, the music at Bond. First and foremost, I'm wishing you, your families, and all your loved ones good health. I would encourage two things. One, don't pass judgment. And two, listen to what other people are saying. Find whatever it is you need to get through this global tragedy. And I mean whatever. God, half a Xanax, glass of white wine. Let me share with you two things that I'm embracing outside of love, of course, that are helping me through these dangerous days. First and foremost, the books. We all complain about not having enough time to read. Are you kidding me? Start from the beginning, make your way through. They're all here. Return to Fleming, return to Fleming. Look how sexy this box set is, by the way. My God, I just wanna put it on my pillow, whisper sweet nothings. Two, surprise, surprise, the films. Dr. No, The Spectre, one film a night. Let's start a Zoom chat. Let's talk about these films. I mean, it's all here. Between these two things, these are my truths. I mean, I, 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 just lead with love. Give love, get love. You know, purpose over panic. Lead with your heart. Um, after we kick this coronavirus in the ass, and, and more importantly, after we finish helping all those who have, who have been... Um, um, who've just been affected deeply um, on so many different levels. After we finish helping those people, what we have waiting for us on the other side is a new James Bond film. And I cannot wait uh, to meet you guys um, in November. So until then, be kind to each other. Read the books. Watch the movies. Reach out to me and say hello. But above all, keep bonding. See you in November. Good afternoon, James Bond fans. It's Murray from James Bond Canada. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone is staying happy, healthy during the whole stay at home Corona thing. So I thought I would tell you what I have been up to lately. So first of all, I want to let you guys know that it is an awesome, beautiful day here in Vancouver. So if you manage to get outside, I hope you get to enjoy yourselves. As you can see, the magnolia trees are blooming across the street. So the one thing that's really, really awesome is look at those. Aren't they beautiful? so gorgeous I love living here in Vancouver see those beautiful magnolia trees um, so when you do need to get outside at least it's a uh, nice weather and uh, now back to what I've been doing obviously working from home as you can see very 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 busy I've got my laptop out um, I think it is though time perhaps for an afternoon cocktail so we'll just uh, hook us up with a little Bond Belvedere. We're going to carry that around. And I think I'm going to carry this straight over to uh, to the poker table. I've been practicing my poker skills. Only problem is I haven't learned yet how to check and then raise after the flop comes tower, uh, wheel of fortune, and lovers after you're holding a suited connector. So that's, that's kind of a, a problem for me, but I'm going to see if I can fix that. And then there's over to this little project here, unfortunately. Um, I still have two bags left. Right now it kind of looks like the uh, Aston Martin that uh, James left for Q um, in the last movie. He did say, bring back one piece. Well, I've got a lot more than one piece to do right now. There's no wheels and no trunk. Uh, I've been catching up on some movies. And I've been also trying to organize uh, my bookshelf. There's a whole lot of awesome books up here from Bond fans everywhere and uh, Bond uh, influencers and Bond community. And uh, it's, uh, it's a great thing to have a little extra time on your hands. So I'm going to bid you all a fond adieu. I hope you have a great day. hope you stay safe. Looking forward to Operation Stay at Home tomorrow. Cheers. Oh my god. Oh. Hi everyone, I'm Corey. And I'm Danielle from another James Bond podcast. And Budget Bond. We just wanted to give you guys a recap on what we've been up to in the whole self-isolation uh, coronavirus deal. Um, we're both working probably more than most people. Probably more than usual. Yeah, we'd like to be off with everybody else, but we can't, so... We're actually pretty fortunate. We still have jobs and we realize that not a lot of people do right now. So we're pretty happy with that. But honestly, our routine's pretty much the same as usual. It's work and then podcast work. Yeah. So we've got uh, another James Bond podcast, which you should definitely check out. 
And we also have Crime and Mystery Canada. Which I show up on that from time to time as well. Mm -hmm. I allow you on sometimes. Thank you. You're welcome. I think. <laughs> Other than that, we have been doing okay. Um, not going stir crazy. The only time it's really strange is the commute to work, which is really short. Yeah, we save a lot of time. There's no traffic. None at all. And also, I guess it's like that for everyone when you do have to go out. It's just sort of like a ghost town everywhere right now. Yeah, pretty much. It's crazy. Yeah. We don't live in a small town either, so it's amazing to see empty streets and no traffic. For sure. It's a first. Yeah. Uh, did you want to do a shout out? Sure. I wanted to do a shout out to uh, from Taylors with Love, Matt and Pete. Thank you for keeping me entertained at work. Also, newly to David and the Bond Experience podcast. One episode so far, but looking forward to those. Um, Joe Darlington on Being James Bond. Also, keeping me entertained at work. Thank you very much. Um, the guys at JBR. And um, I want to say hi to Lorenzo. Hope you're doing good. Hi, Lorenzo. Amen. You got anything else? No, I think that's all. We hope everyone is keeping safe um, and not going too crazy stuck at home. Yeah. Everybody kind of keep with going with the Bond Fitness Challenge. And um, yeah, keep going. We'll see you all soon. All right. Take care. Thanks. Night. Hey, everybody. This is Bobby from Matched Perfectly on Instagram. Uh, it's a site I run with my wife that's mostly uh, travel and fashion related, but heavily uh, influenced by Bond and uh, the Bond lifestyle. Um, yeah, like you guys, I've had to stay at home, been working from home. Um, kind of a crazy time right now, but definitely watching a lot of Bond movies, doing some Bond reading. Um, I know like uh, that was mentioned on the last episode of JBR, always a good idea to return to Fleming when in doubt. So I've been digging into that, been listening to uh, one of my favorite Fleming novels, uh, Live and Let Die, favorite of mine for sure, part of that set um, really close to my hometown uh, here in St. Pete, Florida. So not too far from St. Pete myself, so it's always cool uh, reading that and listening to Fleming's point of view on that. You know, it's, it's an interesting time and it's great seeing how the community has really come together and, you know, with the disappointment of No Time to Die getting bumped and, you know, with all of the product launches, the Oracle Bar Brown getting bumped and, you know, some of that that we were all looking forward to, you know, it's great coming, coming together. I know when that movie does launch, when November does roll around, all that energy we have is going to be put into that and put forward and, you know, it's great David all that you have done you know it's like I'm convinced that you don't sleep so it's been great seeing all the reviews you have and and uh, keeping keeping the momentum going so you know very much appreciated stay safe everybody and um, you know hopefully we'll uh, see you guys come come November take care Boring, boring, boring. Yeah, I need to do something. Let's get creative. There's plenty to do, plenty to do. Got this uh, book, this James Bond role-playing book that I can finally finish. Uh, but you know, I do deserve a drink. Ugh, not much left in this bottle. Eh, let's finish this whiskey. Still good. It's still good. Even to the last drop. Yeah, last drop. But not the last bottle. <laughs> I made some reserves, some more whiskey. Uh, cheers. Now, other things I had to do. Clean up my collection. It's been gathering dust. So let's polish it, make it nice, and make it look good. Yep. No, oh, and more reading. Yeah. Uh, learning new skills in uh, Spycraft this time. And uh, some albums to listen to, some good music. Yep. And plenty of Bond books of all kinds. Yep. If uh, that's not enough, there's still the good old, reliable Fleming material you can find everywhere. Oh! The Blu-rays, 24 movies, plenty of special features. More than enough.
Hi, uh, this is Matt from the Jeans Mom Complex. Uh, I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, I've personally just been put into a preventive quarantine uh, leave, so I'm uh, at home right now. Um, I'm, I'm, I do have some plans. I do have things that need to be done. There's plenty of uh, artwork that I promised people that I'm going to be working on. Um, I got some editing, uh, video, and uh, audio, and I have a personal project, a comic book that I've been working on. I'll be able to, uh, it's completely not bomb related, but I'll be able to work on that. Um, I hope everyone stays safe, you know, wash your hands, keep your distance, uh, and you know, we'll, 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 this will all blow over, November will come, and No Time To Die will be released. Now, I do need to introduce Edgar. I not too sure how well he's been doing, um, so uh, I'll I uh, we shot some videos. So I'll I'll cut the, his video right after this one. Uh, for now, though, uh, on se revoit à la prochaine. Hello, my name is Edgar Chaput, and I'm one of the co-hosts of the James Bond Complex podcast, the show we discuss rejoice and analyze in the James Bond phenomenon in all its shapes and forms, from Fleming to the films, and everything in between. Oh, uh, We have many things planned over the weeks to come. In fact, our back catalog is quite extensive. Uh, we drop episodes every Wednesday on a weekly basis at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, that will not change during this COVID-19 quarantine episode that we're all experiencing uh, right now and probably for still a few weeks to come. So rest assured the James Bond complex has you covered. We're going to be just fine. As for me personally, I'm doing great. Uh, this is a week into the quarantine. Uh, I've been working at home. Uh, no, I've barely spoken to a soul uh, for about a week right now, but that's okay. Uh, I still have friends here. Uh, we got Ernst, uh, Jaws, uh, we got Roger, and we have Sean. Uh, you might even say they're my new best friends. We're getting along just swell. What's that, guys? Oh, you want me to pick a card? Well, you want to play that game? Okay, I'm feeling good about this. Let's see, ooh, Solitaire's cards. Let's see here. This is the one. This is the one, I know it. Very funny, guys. Very, very funny. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you want, you want to play again? All right, sure. Ha, I have the advantage this time the official James Bond complex playing cards. Now I know I have a good feeling about this. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you want to do it, huh? I can put you back in your boxes any moment. You know that, right? We're spending the next few weeks together. <laughs> the chapter where James Bond gets his thunderballs rocked. My favorite chapter. Anyways, take care, guys. I have some reading to do. I was curious who Zeritsky would send. He's on to you. Well, we know where you stand. Just make sure you keep it at six feet. I'm standing in your doorway. 
Hmm. Turn around and go home. You can tell them I'm self-quarantined. That's it? Go home? I didn't ask for no time to die to be delayed. It's too late for that. Why did you give all your toilet paper to the Bond experience? He told me he loved me. Always well, sounds good. Do you know I used to look in the papers every day for your obituary? Well, sorry I keep disappointing you. That's why I'm doing this whole social distancing thing. Six feet, six feet! Hi everyone, hello David. This is Jord van Valk from James Bond Netherlands reporting for duty. James Bond Netherlands was founded back in 2006 between myself and Marlene Kuiper. We now have 10 editors writing for us about James Bond in book and movie form. We also make video productions about this car for instance at Gallery Aldering here in our country and go to various locations for instance Shield from Prince Gloria for One of Secret Servants or Casino Royale in Karovivari, Czech Republic. The coronavirus hit us all very hard, globally and also in our country. So keep your distance and stay safe. I say that once. It's good that they have postponed the movie until November. When you are at a cinema, for instance, you can contaminate everyone there, so it spreads very wildly at a high rate. The box office uh, results would be devastated. For instance, you when the cinemas are closed, so you can't make any money. If they had if they had continued to uh, release the film, they didn't make any money at all, and there might not be a James Bond film anymore in the future. So, stay safe, stay at home, listen to your government, keep a distance. 1.5 meters here. I heard it's six feet in America. So, stay healthy, carry on, and keep the British end up around James Bond. Bye, everyone. John Broughton with Bespoke JB here. Some of the things that I've been working on since the COVID-19 shutdown is with some help of my family members, been working to make these cloth-based surgical masks. Our healthcare heroes are soon going to need these. I've also been working on a new product called the Pocket Round. It's not a square, it's not a rectangle, it is a circle. And the beauty of that, because it is cut partly on the bias, is that you can get some really cool effects because uh, part of the fabric tends to um, curve up that you wouldn't normally get with. Um, cotton and linen and with some of the contrast piping that I'll be doing on the pocket rounds you can get some really cool effects um, with shirt and tie combinations we're also doing it in silk so you'll again get some really nice cool effects as you know the Bond film No Time to Die has been pushed back to November and I know a lot of people are kind of frustrated at it for me I've waited this long, I can wait a few more months. Um, as I always say, stay sharp, but more importantly, stay safe. Hey, Chase Sadowski here for James Bond Classified. That is my Instagram page. On that page, I post pretty much anything James Bond related that interests me, from the movies, the books, fitness, clothing, pretty much anything. Uh, so we got a lot of time on our hands uh, between now and November or now Operation Stay at Home. We're all going to be home for a while. I have a seven-year-old German Shepherd. Keeps me pretty active. I do P90X. So I'm always out there. Me and my wife are hiking. Uh, we're both physical fitness people, so we're always doing stuff like that. 
uh, maybe pick up, uh, start reading the Fleming books, go through the movies again. I know my friend Kyle from Easy Smile and Expensive Watches just went through the whole uh, movie circuit. Um, you know, and besides, who says staying at home is such a bad thing? Your martini? Oh, I think I could get used to this staying at home. Jay Sadowski, James Bond Classified, make it a great day. Make it a great day. Hi, I'm Malcolm Hart. Uh, three meters back, please. Three meters back, ma'am. Hi, I'm Mark O'Connell, author, writer, Bond commentator, and I also wrote Catching Bullets, Memoirs of a Bond fan, which apparently the World Health Organization has just put on their new book group. Isn't that useful? They haven't, by the way. They haven't. So how are we all doing? Uh, I don't know how I'm doing. I, I go through phases. This is the first time I've actually washed and got ready and clean for what feels like 42 months. Um, yeah, on day three, which I don't even remember when day three was, I kind of thought, no, no, I can do this. I can do this. I, yeah, I was sitting back with a red striped beer. I was like Connery in Jamaica. And then by day five, I ended up feeling a bit like Roger Moore in the centrifuge in Moonraker. Although, as we all know right now, try finding a 70-year-old, because there isn't one round, because they should all be self-isolating. But what did I do? I, I, I thought I could go for a picnic, and I would take my packed lunch, and we'd go to the park, but the government stopped that. And then I thought, well, it's feeling like we've been stuck indoors like the 80s. It feels like I've been grounded, and I can't go off and play on my bike with my mates. So I thought, right, I'm going to watch VHS Bond films, because guess what? They're worse than DVDs. Uh, but then, no, after a while, I just thought, right, now I'm going to do something serious here. So I've always been slightly flattening the curve, but I, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually serious here. I'm thinking of getting some abs. You know, I'm going to try and get that Daniel Craig Quantum of Solace body. I, I'll probably end up with the Connery Vegas body. I know I will. I'll look like a slightly sort of melted trifle. But I'm think, thinking seriously of passing the time with some proper exercise. And in the meantime, watch Bond films. And more importantly, watch Bond films uh, with an eye on watching other things. Like, for example, uh, if you love John Barry, who doesn't love John Barry? Watch a film that he did that wasn't Bond. Watch a uh, Terence Young film that wasn't a Bond film. Watch a Sam Mendes film that wasn't a Bond film. Watch a Kerry Fukunaga film that isn't out of on film. Um, but yeah, just, just fill our time with good things. We're all going to be here for each other. This has barely started. I feel we're only just at the gum barrel stage of this uh, coronavirus thing. But we will get there. We will get to end credits. Because guess what? Not only will James Bond return, but we will return. Good evening, Mr. Bond fans. Calvin Dyson here of the Calvin Dyson YouTube channel reporting in for Operation Stay at Home. So first of all, if you're watching this, I hope that you and your loved ones are well and healthy and coping well in this strange new world we find ourselves living in. It's crazy to think that just a few months ago we thought that we would be within touching distance of a new Bond film now, but quite understandably it has been pushed back to later in the year, and you know, maybe it's not so bad if you're like me and you kind of enjoy the hype and the build-up and the anticipation of a new Bond film. Um, personally, I'm in isolation in London right now, and I'm spending my days working from home and making new content, making new videos for YouTube, which is something that I really enjoy doing. So I hope that you are also finding something productive to do in the copious spare time we all have now trapped inside. Um, but, you know, November will come like that, and when it gets here, I'm sure we're all going to make a big splash when the new film comes out. Speaking of big splash, that reminds me, I have some business to take care of. Looks like I'm on a roll. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. Ah, good evening. Operation Stay at Home. Uh, this is Jeff Weibel here of James Bond Canada. Thank you for having me on this channel right now. It's been 
you know, a tough time for all of us. We're stuck at home, but thankfully we have the Bond community to get us through it because if it wasn't for you guys, none of this would be even fun just hanging out with Bond on our own. So thank you guys so much. You guys have been a blast around the world hanging out with you guys. What I'm known for is obviously running James Bond Canada, but also a lot of my travel and some of my social media. So I'd love for you guys to follow our social media accounts, follow Jeff Weibel and James Bond Canada. But what will I be doing to pass the time? Still trying to work a bit, but catching up on a lot of Bond reading right now, trying to keep the martinis to the, you know, the least amount as possible, maybe a couple, but I'm gonna be reading uh, tonight, Live and Let Die's graphic novel here. So finally got some time to get back to bond reading because I'm not allowed to go outside right now. Well, you can kind of go outside, but yeah. That's what I'm doing, reading bond, and I really appreciate all you guys, and we'll see you guys later. Oh, sorry, cheers. Hey everyone, Emery here from the Intrepid 007 podcast. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, and I am the host of a weekly podcast that talks about James Bond and all things spycraft with a little bit of a hint on Canada. Um, for the last couple of weeks now, we've been kind of stuck at home uh, with the cancellations and everything, so I've been keeping busy trying to keep up with the hashtag Bond25 fitness challenge and uh, keeping up with my collection. Uh, I wish everyone well. I wish everyone to stay safe. I will be occupying your eyes and ears with podcasts and video content. So count on me to be there for you guys in these times of troubles. Thank you guys. Hello, Operation Stay at Home. I'm Ray Crumpold from the Bond Armor YouTube and Instagram channel. Um, I review the practicality, use, and function of James Bond's weapons, firearms, and tactical gear. Uh, my day-to-day -day life, I'm an EMT firefighter, so I'm still out there trying to do my part to make sure everybody stays safe and healthy. When I'm home, though, me and my family are doing the same thing as you guys. We quarantine inside, and you know, it's actually a lot like a James Bond film. Manipulation. Daddy? Yeah, babe. Can I have a cookie? There's surprises around every corner. Hey, hon, this, this says that PPKs had magazine releases on the bottom, not just the side. That's weird. Some really high pressure situations. Don't wake up, 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 don't wake up. Don't wake up. There's foot chases. And then, of course, I have my Bond girl. No. So yeah, when I'm home, I'm pretty much James Bond. Anyway, I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. Don't worry, we will all get through this and we will see each other in November. Hello, my name is uh, Morten Stangrimson and I am the editor of the Norwegian James Bond magazine or just simply James Bond Norway. I hope that um, everyone is safe and healthy. I think the best message I can give is, you know, do everything you can in order to avoid spreading the, the virus and together we can beat it. Uh, I don't know if uh, most of the viewers know me, so a little introduction. Um, I've been a very big Bond fan since I was a gold mine in 1995. Um, and um, after that, I have written a book about the subject of James Bond, written many articles covering events all around the world, and also organized um, several big Bond events here in Oslo with guests like George Lazenby, Britt Eklund, and um, Sir Ken Adam. As most of you, I've spent much of uh, my time inside the last weeks, um, which is important. And um, since I work as a film journalist, I've actually had some very busy weeks because I've had to write a lot of articles. Um, but um, I've also had some extra time. So I have rewatched some of my favorite Bond-related movies. And um, I've always been a very big fan of Michael Caine and the Harry Palmer movies. So I just had to rewatch the Ipcrest file the other day, and um, it's a movie that I, you know, can watch many, many times. It's one of the big, big British classics from the 1960s. 
Um, and I also rewatched, um, I believe this is the third one in the series, uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And uh, Bill and Jollibrain is, um, is also, um, you know, it's not as good as the Ipcress file, but it's, um, but it's still, you know, a, a very um, watchable movie. I also have, um, saw the Thomas Crown Affair um, the other day, and um, I think it's actually Paris Brosnan's best performance outside the Bond movies. Um, I really like, you know, it's um, entertaining, it's funny, and also uh, a lot of suspense. It's a very perfect uh, movie. And um, if you haven't seen it already, I will. I would also recommend to watch Outland with Sean Connery. It's um, a very underrated um, science fiction film with uh, Connery and uh, just cool to see, you know, Connery in, um, in, um, in, in a science fiction movie. So um, I hope that, you know, you um, continue to be safe and healthy. And um, before you know it, we'll meet again. Guys, this is Bud West with the Bond Brain Podcast. And what am I doing with all this downtime? Well, I'm still researching Bond Brain topics for the podcast, and I'm going to keep cranking that stuff out. I'm going to have some guests on board, so tune in on iTunes or Podbean or Spotify. One of the other things I'm doing is building my Bond Brain lair. A lot of guys have man caves. A lot of guys have offices. I'm building a lair. Nobody has a good lair these days. Problem is, I just can't decide in the water pit below the trap door, do I want to go with the piranha or the sharks with the laser beams on their head? It's a tough call. All right? Let me know what you think. Look, stay healthy, stay focused, stay happy, stay safe, and most of all, stay connected. We'll get through this together. There's plenty of movies to watch. There's plenty of books to read. There's plenty of things to talk about. There's plenty of clothing article and fitness stuff and places that we can review and look and watch and share and discuss. So don't give up on that stuff. And send me an email if you have an opinion on the piranha and the sharks, man. Take care, okay? And everybody stay safe. And to quote Mr. Ray Crompold of the Bond Armory, wash your damn hands. See you guys. Hello, my name is Wilfred Piccarelli from James Bond Television, and I'm here to join Operation Stay at Home. Yes, guy, let's stay at home at this time of crisis, at this time of viruses, something that maybe Blofeld or Spectre just <laughs> cook up in their laboratory. But all jokes aside, let's stay at home. I'm joining. There is a risk from the Bond experience, which I appreciate very much asking me to do this video and say to you, the Bond community, who are very, very passionate and very, very united, especially at this time of crisis. Hi, Lee here from Sartorial Bond. Uh, we find ourselves in unprecedented times. Like most of the planet's population right now, I'm self-isolating, socially distancing and working from home. And as we face this global situation together, I do look forward to continuing to be a part of uh, our online community. Um, I've made some lifelong friends through this and I think it's going to be a great opportunity to invest more time in those relationships. And I also relish the idea of making new friends along the way. Obviously, when I heard No Time to Die had been delayed, I was mortified for everyone. And I do mean everyone, except me. You see, I couldn't make it back to England in March due to work commitments, but I can make it back in November. So every cloud does have a silver lining, at least for me. So what am I doing in the meantime? Well, apart from my Macallan collection taking a massive hit, I'm currently saving an absolute fortune on soap and deodorant as I'm switching between day pyjamas and night pyjamas every day. No, but seriously, like many of you, I'm going to take this opportunity to revisit the uh, original Fleming novels. 
um, as well as some of my favourite continuation novels and the superb Young Bond series by Charlie Higson. Now, if you haven't read those, do yourself a favour and get on it right now because they are fantastic. Uh, finally, I want to give a huge shout out to David at the uh, Bond Experience for everything he does. I look forward to joining you all at Operation Stay at Home. And, uh, you know, everyone stay safe, stay at home. And as Mallory so rightfully said, don't cock it up. Cheers. Hello, Tom Sears here from James Bond Radio. I hope you are doing okay and not freaking out too much under the circumstances. Um, some things that I've been doing to uh, pass the time and get through the whole situation is number one, wearing my pyjamas all day and letting my personal hygiene take a bit of a nosedive. So that's always a lot of fun. And the main one is looking after this little nugget right here. Look at that face. Goodness me. Meet Pippa. She is a 13 week old sausage and she is equal parts adorable and a troublemaker. Look at that little punum and those little paws. Goodness gracious me. Mwah. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it down now because she's wiggling. But uh, yeah, so she's keeping us busy. I uh, hope you guys are doing all right and you're kind of managing things okay. What a weird situation, what a weird time to be alive, eh? But uh, hey-ho, I am sure within a few weeks we'll be over the hump and uh, slowly be coming out the other side. All right, guys, that's all from me. Tom Sears, James Bond Radio, signing off. Take it easy. Bye. Hello, Bond fans and everybody tuning in to Operation Stay at Home. My name is Benjamin Lind. I'm the editor of the bondbulletin.com, the website and the YouTube channel. And I'm outside with Lancelot, the hardest working horse in show business. Thank God in Germany we are allowed to go outside two people at a time. Does not include horses, uh, but they need to be trained, they need movement, they need medical attention for physics and ow. And Lancelot and I, we have an agreement, actually, whenever he tries to bite me, or actually does bite me, uh, I sing another way to die. So there's your bond influence. <laughs> and if you don't know what to do at home, I can really recommend, if you have, get out the old N64, play a bit of Goldeneye. Uh, the other day I played The World Is Not Enough with my girlfriend. Hi, oh, that's so nice, thank you. I will be full of hair now. Ah, another way to die. Da -da 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 da 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 -da 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 -da. And he stops. It's that frightening. Um, read some of the Ian Fleming novels. Um, read them all if you can. Watch the Bond films and prepare for No Time to Die. At the time of the postponement of the film to November, I thought all of this is not that serious. Uh, it, it's just like a flu, but people, it really is not. So if I can advise something to you, uh, Stay at home, stay safe, wash your hands, and really the measures they are doing here now in Germany, they are working. This is something that we need to do right now and we all need to pull on one string to make this virus go away. So I hope you will have a great time watching all the videos that we put out, all of David's videos, all of my videos, and being James Bond, everything you can find on YouTube, watch it all, binge it all, um, to pass the time that you have to stay at home. Stay safe, people. Benjamin Lind of the Bond Bulletin signing out. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, I've also been asked what I've been doing with my time in this crazy period. Well, I've mainly been playing high-stakes poker games with my friends at home. Race. I'm all in. Oh, dig a hole. Hey guys, this is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Bond fan on YouTube, and besides playing poker, 
in these crazy isolation times, I've also uh, been doing more productive stuff with my time as well. Not a lot of people may know this about me, but besides making videos, I've always been the creative type with drawing as well. And over the years, I've been working on a comic book adaptation of Ian Fleming's first novel, Casino Royale. Since this is my personal little project, I figured I may as well feature myself as Bond. And of course, add in a realistic situation I could find myself in. My plan is to get this adaptation as close as possible to Fleming's novel, but give it some tweaks here and there. I used the poker game like the movie instead of the Baccarat, for example. My art is very cartoony and colorful, a little bit child-friendly, so I figured it did need to contain mature elements like violence, people smoking and subtle nudity to get a good representation of Fleming's world. I'm planning to distribute it in some shape or form among Bond fans interested when it's finished, but I'm still yet to figure out a nice way to do that. As of now, that's not on my mind yet, and it's just a fun little personal project. Anyway, Bond fans, hope all of you are safe and healthy and, most importantly, happy in these weird isolation times uh, with the social distancing that we're currently living in. Uh, it's like living in a movie. It's like Blofeld unleashed a new COVID-19 virus on the world. But I like to think that somewhere out there, in the shadows, there's a secret agent surrounded by brilliantly uh, hot girls ready to save us all and unleash the vaccine to us all so that we can continue with our daily lives like we were used to. So hopefully that's a little bit of a comforting message because I know he's out there. So guys, stay safe. Hello everybody, hello James Bond fans and James Bond friends out there. This is Andreas Pott the chairman of the James Bond Club Germany, calling from Germany. David Zeritsky of the Bond Experience asked me to do a little video for you and I'm happily to share this with you. Actually, I'm sitting here in my garden on a beautiful spring day here in Germany. That's why I am like you, most of you, are stuck at home because of the coronavirus and doing some home office in my job. That's quite a privilege to have a home office with such a nice garden and I'm thankful for that. I hope you can do your work in a nice surrounding too or you are well and so we can handle this all together. In fact, my work is not very different from the work I do in my office normally. So the time is filled with work the day over. A little break here for this now. And we all wait, of course, for news to the new James Bond movie which is not so important at the moment, but we are James Bond fans and so we want to know these things too. There will be nothing happen very soon, I am sure. With no time to die, it is postponed until November. We have to fill the time with some other things around Bond. If I'm not at work, I have a little tip for you. I am reading a book at the moment, it's called Golden Eye uh, by Matthew Parker, maybe you know it, this is a German version and I can highly recommend it because you have a very good insight to Golden Eye and to Jamaica and Ian Fleming's work and life there and you know uh, No Time to Die will be on Jamaica, back on Jamaica too, and so this fits together very well. Yes, that's my little tip for you, that's a greeting from you from Germany. And now I think I will go back to my laptop, have my second cup of Earl Grey today and do some more damage. Be well, everybody, stay safe, stay at home, 
and greetings from Germany. This is Andreas Pott. someone else? Hi, I couldn't resist doing that intro. I've always wanted to do that. Hi, my name is Frank Wilson. And I host a podcast called What's the Score? I've been a Bond fan since I saw Goldfinger in first run as a seven-year-old. Go ahead and do the math. Anyway, in times like this, I always find that film music is the thing that really helps me get through difficult times or times when I'm like waiting or bored times like now. I always go back to film music to help take me to some faraway place or on an adventure that helps get my mind off things that are going right now. So this show is a perfect thing for you to listen to if you're looking to get away. And for me, selfishly, it helps take my mind off things too by producing more of these shows. I think you'd like it. We have a guest on that's somehow connected to the film or TV community or the Bond community. Uh, and they get to learn, uh, we get to learn a little bit about them, and we also get to hear some of their favorite scores. Some of which will surprise you, some of which you won't recognize, and then, of course, some that you will. We've had guests like Lucas Kendall, who did the remaster on the James Bond scores in 2003, David Sariski of the Bond Experience, just to name a few. Joe Darlington's another one. Um, so we have a Bond connection, but it's also broader than that. It's about film music from anywhere. So if you need a diversion, if you need to get away and listen to some great music and interesting conversation, come and join us. It'll take you away from all the craziness that's going on these days. That's about it. There's only one thing I'll have to say, and that's simply this. My name is Frank Wilson. My time's up. I thank you for yours. Hey everybody, it's Harris Thomas from Dressing Like Fun. What an ordeal that we have found ourselves in, but hey, I'm just like you guys, I'm stuck at home, working from home as best I can, and I'm still suffering from the no time to die postponement syndrome and trying to figure out what am I gonna do for eight months. But I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm reading Ian Fleming. I'm diving back into Fleming's Bond. Just finished up Living Let Die last night, and I'm about three chapters into Moonraker as we speak. Hey, look, we got to stay positive. The movie's going to be here, and quite frankly, November's going to be here before we all know it, I think. Um, but let's stay busy. Let's keep talking to each other. And hey, don't forget to always have a drink in your hand. And speaking of hands, please wash your hands. Hello, everyone. Pete Brooker here from Taylors With Love. From Taylors With Love, the podcast that is all about the style of James Bond. I run that with my co-host, Matt Spacer, editor of The Suits of James Bond. So we're all uh, self-isolating here now in the UK, big crackdown um, in my flat, entombed with my girlfriend, the cats, and Roger the cockapoo, who's asleep off camera there. And it's a very interesting time, so luckily I've got lots of habits and hobbies, you know, I'm a voracious reader of the arts, I, I like to really throw myself into my studies, um, basically everything history, so I'm actually keeping myself entertained, no problemo. And I guess also I'm uh, to help pass the time, I've started a blog called No Time to Diary. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I get the big bucks. And you can find that on the website from tailorswithlove.co.uk. It's just a, just a way for me to pass the time, really. I like to think when people ask, what did you do during the coronavirus outbreak? I can just uh, send them a link. <laughs> just say, there you go, and move on. And anyway, well, I'm going to leave you now with a little snippet of what's to come on the podcast. Matt and I brainstormed a lot of content ideas, and I think you're going to look forward to listening to these, hopefully, over the coming months, whilst we're all looking to pass the time. And in the meantime, uh, thank you, David, for keeping us all entertained, and everyone in the Bond community, just hang on in there. This will all blow over, and uh, we'll all be uh, talking about it on the red carpet, I'm sure. <laughs> we won't be on the red carpet, we'll be 
next to it, but we'll be talking about it next to it. I'll stop talking. The golfing socks of Bond? Okay, how about what Bond would wear to a bris? You know, in Judaism, when uh, when the baby is circumcised? How about what Bond would wear during that uh, season when you don't really know if it's spring or summer or... <laughs> or, or how about you know if it's if it's uh, but you know we don't know, you don't really know when it's when autumn turns to winter and well, what do you wear during that time? What season is it? How about we do a feature on the towels of James Bond? Well, well you know there's the one in From Us With Love where Bond takes off the towel and gets into bed with Tatiana. I, I mean that's a beautiful towel, lots of drape. You know, Roger Roger's towels and Live and Let Die are some of the best towels, not not just in James Bond but in movie history. But you have to bear in mind, also, they seriously upped the budget for Bond in the 70s, and that's very evident in the towels. The wetsuits of Bond. You know, people would actually be interested in that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I haven't done that one, but I don't know what to do about wetsuits, but people actually want to know that. Hi guys, my name is Martin, or Martin, or Martin Mulder, and I'm the author and webmaster of On The Tracks of 007. This year uh, we're celebrating On The Tracks' 25th anniversary, but so far it hasn't been a very cheerful year. I have released a virus. The Netherlands is not on a lockdown. We're on what our government calls an intelligent lockdown, which is something like, uh, you are not supposed to go out, but if you want to, you know, whatever. There's not so much traveling possible as I would like. Uh, let me explain to you how I fill my days. So, since I'm self-employed, I'm used to working from home, so that's not really an issue. The only thing that I have to work around is that I'm no longer alone at home. The Dutch government has issued an emergency rescue plan which includes financial help for the self-employed, so I'm not really worried there either. Plus, I have always a lot of things to do, so I'm sure I'll manage. Lots of work is currently coming from the cancelled Bond Week event. There's a lot of money involved and fortunately, due to the circumstances, we managed to convince all parties involved, which are the trains, the buses, the hotels, to reschedule the event and to adapt the existing contracts accordingly. So all investments have been saved and we aim to come back in November with the exact same event, surrounding the hopeful launch of No Time To Die. <coughs> In the meantime, I'm working on several publications, exhibitions, posters, flyers, mostly non-bond. So I hope to see you all soon, in good health, on a mission somewhere around the globe. So, take care. Hi, this is John Clark from Haphazard Stuff. Occasionally I'll do video projects and write a little bit about James Bond. I'm home like everyone else. I've been doing a little spring cleaning, doing some reorganizing, and getting around to some redecorating that needed to be done. Basically just passing the time best I can. I hope everyone out there is staying healthy and staying safe. Take care. Hello everybody, this is Markus Hakan from James Bond Club, Switzerland. As many others, I am at the moment grounded at home due to the outbreak of the new coronavirus. I have to admit, in the beginning, it was not quite easy to accept this new challenge, if you may say so, with all its restrictions, but there's no other way to accept it. We all together in this one. Um, during Weekdays, I try, I think it's essential, to maintain the same ordinary routine. In my case, that means wake up at the same time, have a shower, shave, have a breakfast, and then I go to work. Only now, my office is right at home, and in the company's office. The weekend, however, I try to do something nice, like read one of these many great books that I purchased a long time ago and never really had time to read it, so I have to do it now, right? 
I think besides everything, we also have to see the good side in it. Like modern nature finally gets a break, gets a chance to recover. And also for ourselves, we have a chance to recover body, mind and soul. Important also, I think you have to work on your immune system while being at home. Always important to do that regularly, like me, you know. And trying to make the best out of the situation. Now, we got more. So, thanks for your attention. Stay safe. Stay at home. Uh, so, I uh, thought I would start off with a little joke. So I found this little, little ditty right here. I think you'll, uh, I think you'll like it. Uh, why did the man who was infected with CB19 not laugh at the joke? It flew over his head. You know, flew, you know what I mean? It, uh, not, uh, but F-L-E. Ah, uh, boy, these other guys, they really, they really pulled out the stops on their videos, didn't they? I got up my game a little bit. I know what I gotta do. Sound check. One, two, one, two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Why did the man with COVID-19 not get the joke? It flew over his head. That's the good stuff. That was amazing. Uh, first of all, thank you to everybody that contributed a video. Um, those take a lot of creativity and it takes time. And I know that people can say that we have no time to die and that we have plenty of time right now being isolated, but those still take effort. And I wanna thank everybody for that particular effort and for allowing, allowing them to come into your home even for a few hours. And thank you for today. I mean, your family, your friends, your loved ones, they allowed you to play for a little bit and we need those we need those escapism moments we have the opportunity there's a challenge out there of course
but we have the opportunity to come out of this even stronger than when we first came into it. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to take effort. It's going to take dedication, but I think we've got it in us. So thank you for that. There's, there's a quote from Skyfall in Adele's song, um, together we will stand tall. And I believe together the Bond community will stand taller more than ever. So thank you for joining us today. This has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll, of course, see you real soon. Take care.